Wraps are lighter, stronger, and made here in the USA, only from the best American components. Don't drive a Mustang? Your street rod, classic, or late model muscle car will benefit from our world-class technology. With 20 years experience, we guarantee your satisfaction. Don't underestimate what we can do for your car. Good morning. It's Tuesday, and I'm Robin Mead. So glad that you're with us today. Let's talk about um, what we're going to be talking about here. The $787 billion stimulus bill is going to be signed today. So what you can expect as the president tries to revive the economy. And 20,000 people could find out this morning if they're going to be out of work. But California is not the only state having massive financial problems and then a woman is mauled by a 200 pound pet chimp and it's not the first time that the chimp caused some trouble first though after months of debate president obama is going to sign the 787 billion dollar stimulus package today in denver there is money for construction projects some health care energy and conservation it's all aimed at creating jobs now, most workers will get a $400 tax break. There's also help for the poor and the unemployed. Critics say they could push the deficit to $1.6 trillion this year. You know, with all the anticipation around the stimulus plan, how are we going to know when it's working? Correspondent Richard Louis has some ways to help measure its success, and that's coming in about 10 minutes. This just in, though, the country's leading seller of pork products is laying off 1,800 people. Smithfield Foods says it is closing six plants as part of an overall re restructuring. Now, also new in the last hour, Liberty Media is making a major investment in Sirius Satellite Radio. They're putting $530 million in loans into Sirius XM in exchange for 40% of their stock and seats on the board. Investigators could soon have some more answers about what caused a plane to crash near Buffalo. They say that they recovered some of the plane's components that may show what the pilot did in the final moments. Ice buildup is among the possible causes, but investigators are also checking the pilot's reaction. They want to finish collecting the debris by tomorrow. There was a very difficult moment yesterday for the people who lost their loved ones on that flight. They visited the crash site and left roses to remember their uh, loved ones. Just this morning, we learned a police helicopter saw some people who were not supposed to be there. Well, when the trooper and deputy went to, uh, to talk to these individuals, it was a 41-year-old man with his 13-year-old son and another 27-year-old Clarence native. They were videotaping it. Uh, the family visit and at NTSB's request the camera has been seized in the tape and it will be reviewed by the federal officials to see if any crime was in fact committed. 50 people died in the crash on Thursday. Another four billion dollars of your money is going to General Motors today. It is the latest installment of a government loan to help the troubled automaker gear up for restructuring. But today is also the deadline for GM and Chrysler to give the White House their plans to turn things around. It's not that they're not selling cars. They just have, have way too many plants for the number of vehicles that they are selling now. And they need to downsize. They need to close a lot of dealers, close a bunch of plants. And, and if they can get down to a size that, that's supported by the number of vehicle, vehicles they're selling, they'll do fine. Remember, Chrysler, uh, the smallest of the three, it sells about a million vehicles a year. You can make money on that if you get your costs and your structure in line. Well, meanwhile, GM is scrambling to win concessions from its debt holders and the auto workers union. People briefed on that situation say that the talks are making progress, but deals may not happen until after today's deadline for a restructuring plan. We now know that at least 200 people have died in Australia from raging wildfires. Teams are still trying to identify the victims, and some may never be. One firefighter was killed in the recovery effort. Thousands of people have been forced from their homes. Police believe that two of the fires were set on purpose. One person is charged with arson. Arson. California is nudging a little closer to a financial crisis. State lawmakers say they're still one vote away from approving $14 billion in tax increases. Without an agreement, the state won't be able to pay its bills and fix a $42 billion budget deficit. The governor is about to begin the process of laying off 20,000 state workers and stop spending on more projects. 
real life mean? impact will be uh, the slowdown and actual shutdown of hundreds of state funded transportation projects. Uh, people not getting paid, taxpayers not getting refunds, IOUs. California is not the only state in trouble. Kansas is suspending income tax refunds and may not pay its workers on time. The governor says that the state just doesn't have the money. Republicans want some spending cuts. The Democratic governor suggests borrowing money from other state accounts. You know, you've been hearing about this one for months. By the end of the day, more than 600 TV stations around the country will have made the switch to digital TV. Congress delayed the deadline until June now because it ran out of coupons for the converter boxes. Four million people still need them. It is unclear how many people will be affected by the early shutdowns. Oh, did you just feel tired all of a sudden? Well, let me wake you up here. Five minutes after the hour, Bob is going to show you the West Coast. I know you're the folks getting up right now. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Tough weather for you, especially when you get to places like California, back in towards the Four Corners. A lot of snow, too, potentially there for uh, western Colorado, parts of Utah and Idaho as well. Uh, it's a fractured weather map. You have a bunch of low pressure regions that are actually going to combine into one. That's going to be later this afternoon and tonight around the plains. But right now, a couple of areas are low, right around Wyoming and another one by Idaho. Light snow across western Colorado, some light snow also. When you get it towards Salt Lake City, about two to four inches of snow there. Winter weather warnings are up, but look at California. The rain continues to come on in, especially just north of uh, Long Beach in towards Los Angeles, and it's turning into snow for the spine of Sierra Nevada. Also, rain getting in towards San Francisco and Sacramento. How about some of the rainfall totals from yesterday alone? This doesn't take into account two days. We now have to give him our support to make this plan help everybody. Out.